Chris here, and this week's quick tip of the week is brought to you by FPVStyle.com. They have some awesome FPV gear and some great prices. They even have some amazing deals going on some flash sales. So definitely uh, subscribe to their Facebook, they'll start posting on there, uh, as well as uh, check me out on RC Groups. Um, if you watch my blog, I will be posting the flash sales as soon as I hear about them. I'll be posting them on there so you can uh, definitely pick them up. This week's quick tip of the week is going to be Expo. Uh, a lot of people uh, talk about Expo and they say it's a good thing, but no one really explained what it was. And Expo is really good for, especially for beginners um, or more precision flight because you can get some really amazing results out of it. Uh, today what I have is a, just a wing here uh, that I can explain how everything uh, works for you. Uh, I'm not going to be actually using the control surface, I'm going to be using the entire wing so it'll be easier for you to see. Um, so basically what it is is Expo is a exponential throw on your uh, control system. So instead of having your sticks at 5% move this 5 degrees, or your stick moves 5%, this moves 5% of its full throw, it's actually going to dampen it. So what it'll do is your first, let's say, 10% of stick movement is going to be ramping up to 5%. So instead of your standard stick movement causing it to equally go, it'll actually cause move less and then start moving at a greater rate when you get farther out in your throws. So what that does is when you're flying around, if you want to just make minor adjustments, you have a little more play in your sticks to do really fine adjustments where before those same movements would be doing something like that. So Expo can definitely dial that down. Uh, if you do have larger aircraft, it helps out a lot because for your different speeds, you can make it a much easier to control. Um, now, where Expo and Dual Rates changes is Dual Rates are nice, but if you set up your Expo properly, you don't actually need Dual Rates. Because um, you can set up Expo to be really soft in the center and have a greater movement the farther out you go. So now, when you have your aircraft that flies extremely fast, your first half of your throw can be very minimal movements. When you get out beyond there, it can go up to full throw. That way when you come in to land or you have an emergency situation, you don't have to switch out of dual rates or anything like that. You just increase your, thr or increase your movement on your stick and it will move what's needed. So Expo with 100% um, scale on your throws, will give you 100% at full throw. But at half throw, whatever your expo rate is, is what it'll decrease. So you can have it set up to only, at half your throw, only give you 25% on the aircraft. And that'll dampen down a lot. Uh, it's the same thing as uh, throttle curves and things like that on the helicopters and stuff where you can set a proper power band um, or an optimal point. Um, so Expo works in many aspects that a lot of people don't really think of it as. A lot of people just throw Expo on there because they're like, oh, it's easier to fly. But there's a lot of points that it really helps out with. Um, like what I was saying with the larger aircraft, rather than having to switch out of high rate or low rates back into high rates for landing, Expo, all you have to do is just move your sticks more and it'll get to that high throw for you. Um, so you can focus on landing and not focus on switching and things. Yes, there are those people that love to have all these fancy switches and things on there, and that's why Tyrannus has like 45 different uh, recordings of different features, because it has high rates, low rates, flaps, drag break. I could make a whole video just on the sound recordings of Tyrannus. And if someone wants it, I guess I can make it. But, there's tons of things and there's people that love to make that scale setup. I personally just like to fly. 
I don't, when I'm coming in to land, I want to land. I don't want to have to switch down flaps, switch down landing gear, change to high rates, turn on landing lights. I'm not a full-scale aircraft. I can land in the grass, so I don't really need any of that, but to each their own. So I definitely would recommend uh, checking out Expo. Um, almost all new transmitters, as long as they have some sort of computer, uh, can do Expo. So check your uh, transmitter's manual and try out Expo. If, even if it's a air, airframe that you haven't used Expo on, quadcopter, whatever, throw it on there and just add it, just a really light percentage. Uh, start out with like 10-15% uh, Expo and you can see that it'll uh, give you a softer control in the center of the sticks. Um, which works really well for beginners and things because if you are, if you do move your sticks too much, it'll dampen that overthrow uh, down quite a bit. So that's the quick tip of the week. Check back soon for another video.